Last week I got challenged because I met up with an amazing um, filmmaker, um, photographer, very passionate. His name is Abdallah Belele. What's up? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. All is good? I'm good. Yo, you, you, you're indoor. Yeah, yeah, man, it's so hot. <laughs> yes, just to cold places, you know, Iringa, Russia. <laughs> I'm going to have to move to Iringa, Russia. <laughs> yeah, welcome. And I think sometimes, especially in this generation, we tend to forget a lot of that and we kind of get consumed or distracted with just the gear, what equipment we're going to use to create better content, better images. Instead of really asking yourself, um, why are you creating? What do you want the person to, the person viewing your work to feel? What story are you capturing? Like there's so many other questions besides what camera are you using or what lens. And last week is one of those moments whereby, you know, a light bulb went on and I was just blown away by Abdallah's enthusiasm. What's good everybody? It's a video on Belela Vlog. Welcome once again. Hey, wait a second. Mnakumbuka my Mr. Background? Hmm. Don't mess up anymore, eh? <laughs> okay, everybody. Nimesha Talisha, my new looking background in my house. And as you can see, I'm trying my best, yo. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. Yo, Kalibun Tsena Kwenye Vlog, a video on Belela. And today, we're gonna see something great which happened in the restaurant last time Nivo visit. Nikwa ni meamwa ni weke kwanza store yoko kama Surprise Kwenu. Yeah, as you see the introduction, it's me and Ose. This is our first period together. Um had to plan it funny each kid lakini uh it's some sort of interview, so I hope you will enjoy this guys. So video about the Zamda, please enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys, it means a lot. And don't forget to like and comment. Cheers and leave a comment about my new background. When I see how should I arrange it? As you can see, you can sum up my achievements here, my award. I'm a basketball, you know? Yeah. So this story is a short story of myself. Come on, one of my lens, speaker music, I'm all about music, monopod, and many stuff. So this is a short story of my life. Guys, enjoy. Share. So it's like, what's good about you? Saving you on the vlog. And this time I'm with Ose Greg Asunare. What's up, people? How are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, we're doing this vlog. Um, we didn't plan for it, first of all. True, but true. It's just happened, you know. Yeah. So I think we're gonna talk about why did he start content creation, what motivated him, and why did he decided to take it so far, and what are his goals to the future? What is he trying to focus on? Content creation. But before talking much, let me let him introduce himself. Okay. Oh, cool. Let me see. How do I introduce myself now? Um, my name is also Greg Casinari. I am a travel and lifestyle filmmaker and photographer. And before I actually used to focus on fashion photography and portrait photography, taking pictures of people. Yeah. And then if now I'm more focused on working with brands and you know creating yeah, sure. um, content for hotels, restaurants, and just kind of like creating content to educate other content creators on YouTube. So, and I think that's how I kind of have moved into content creation oh, yeah, through sure, that. Sure. So that's a little bit uh, of a little bit about myself. And I'm from Moshi but born in Dar es Salaam, so I'm going to Moshi tomorrow, so <laughs> I don't know when this is going to come out, but if, yeah, yeah, you're around, I'll see you guys. And talking about uh, born in Tanzania, yeah. I don't know why, but many people think maybe you are not a pure Tanzanian. Why do yeah, you man, you see is? all these tattoos, <laughs> you know, and then you see, for example, for example my, my dad is fully Tanzanian, ah, my yeah, mom sure. is um, half Tanzanian, half Italian, oh, yeah, sure. but I feel like Atacama that was the situation yeah. still i was meant to you know come out a little bit come out you know cow cow yeah i, know. Uh, I think maybe shombe. yeah shombe, shombe, you know yeah. what i'm saying but then 
I guess the grand, my grandfather's DNA was a little bit strong. Ah, That's yeah, the only reason. Like, in the new year, the new year, Katani, Katani. So, it's very tough. I can't lose. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, man, we get bones. It's because we're thinking a lot, man. <laughs> don't, don't become a content creator. Yeah, sure, don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, what motivates you to start uh, the whole content creation? I think w- with content creation, like, I've always been, I think ultimately content creation is just creating. Yeah, sure. Right? So like I've always been creating at as a man for one thing as a you know magari na kandambili ni ni so sure, from sure. long time ago I've always been creating and I think it's just it's continued to evolve yeah, sure, you know sure. like uh, I used to draw and paint a lot then it started becoming like photography when I learned about photography yeah, in, sure, in university sure. and then now it's re- evolved to a point where it's called content creation because I will generally the world had to figure out a, a title for it yeah sure sure so sure. now because there's social media websites now you know we we as content creators start yeah, to create sure, content sure. so i think there's different sub sub genres of content creation like in kwasasa you have people who create content for themselves yeah and then you have people who create content for other people and other businesses ah yeah sure, yeah sure. so i've i've fallen into it because like I've started from a long time and I just love creating something new. Yeah, sure. I like the process. So, uh, I've been follow up a lot of your videos Thank and you. at some point you say you stopped shooting about uh, weddings. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. what did why did you start and decide to quit about all wedding stuff and just do other stuff? So, in I, I think in the beginning, you know when you're doing photography and when you start, you know, this journey as a photographer. Yeah. Uh, you have to buy equipment yeah. and the people who are willing to pay you a good amount of money usually are wedding clients yeah, sure. so in the beginning like you know to raise money raise capital to oh, be able yeah, to sure, buy equipment sure, sure. I started you know learning a lot about wedding photography and then I started capturing a lot but it was not something I was very passionate about yeah sure. so now that I've been able to do it for a long time I was able to build a reputation and being able to build um the equipment that i need to create my own content yeah sure um i i had to decide hey man i got to stop doing this because there's other people who are out there who are more passionate about wedding photography yeah um and uh, they sh- they are rather ha- they have the job rather than me having the job just for the sake of m- money yeah okay. so they if they're passionate i think it's my responsibility to be like yo do what you love yeah sure, and sure, then sure. i'll focus on what i love oh yeah sure, sure, sure. yeah So uh, there are a lot of content creators out there yeah, uh, yeah. who uh, really need to get somewhere when yeah. creating content. Yeah. Uh, what will you tell them? Like to motivate them like okay because I'm very sure there's somebody who is going to watch this and be like I want to be like Ose. So why are you going I to be like give them Abdala, you know? <laughs> Yeah, we're still growing though, yeah. you know. <laughs> so All why are you going to tell them like what you give them an inspiration or motivation or no if it was me I'm watching and I'll be like Yeah. Man, I got to do this. This But, is inspiring. I think you know like already like right now we in we in a situation where you know everybody you know there's on social media you see so many other people creating yeah. and then I think there's this kind of like uh idea about content creation being a photographer and I think once you get into it you know the challenges and I'm sure now you know the challenges yeah. of doing this and the hustle. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> that's why we're both game well. So the the hustle, the challenges, but also the sacrifices that you have to make yeah, sure. to to get things done. So I would like to motivate people, but I think it's not the right time to motivate people. I think it's more so the right time to tell people like the facts. Yeah, sure. Like it's not going to be easy. Yeah. Um it's going to be very tough because you're going to start out, nobody's going to know what you're doing, nobody's yeah. going to care about your videos you are not going to be happy with your videos exactly. because it's the beginning sure, sure. um but if you persevere and you sacrifice um a lot and really push through the reward is like it's it's more than you could ever put into words yeah, you know sure. like what you will gain after the sacrifices and the hours that you put into doing this uh like i can't explain to you because i'm i have not even reached anywhere close yeah. to touching the rewards the in rewards. comparison to American YouTubers yeah, and all sure, that sure, sure. Uh, and content creators but I know that it's the time for Africa yeah sure, sure so if who else to tell our stories than uh, us ourselves, ourselves right yeah, sure. so um, it's the right time for you to pick up the camera because your voice matters 
our voices matter. And if we don't do it, they're going to come and then they're going to record it like they've been doing it for so long. So it's our time to pick up the camera, to pick up the, whether it's the phone camera, uh, digital camera and showcase our stories the way we know them from since we were young. So that's the reason why. Oh, so in short, what you're saying is like, we need to start right now so the next generation will benefit from this. Yes, for sure. And hopefully we'll we'll benefit before the next generation because like you have like music, yeah, you know those bongo flavor, like manzoni, manzoni, and then yeah. a lot of the Wasanis, they, you know, who started, and then you know we were young, we enjoyed yeah, the, music. Yeah, the music, and yeah. at the time, any was that like, ah, wow. <laughs> you know, but then now, like the music industry has become so big, and you have you know big stars who are making a lucrative li- living, and parents now see it as an opportunity. Yeah, sure, sure. So now with photography and content creation, we're going through the same struggle, and it's going to reach a point whereby parents will be. Um, they will support us to the point that, you know, they know ah, there's somebody who has yeah. been able to do it and being successful, being able to invest in businesses and grow. Yeah, sure, sure. So we're trying to push and that's why we should do it and that's why you should do it. Yeah, you should do it. So, we need to be the example for yeah. our field this yes. time. So if yeah. next time a parents, maybe a kid tell a parents, I want to be a content creator, so we'll be an example. Go ahead, son. Go ahead, son. Go ahead, Be like Kose. Yeah. Be like AD, of yes. course. Be like me. Not like AD, like me. I'm telling <laughs> you. And don't forget to subscribe. If yeah, you... yo, don't forget to subscribe. We're going to leave you the link to Ose Instagram, first of all. For you guys who don't know him, you'll see most of his work up there. And also, I'm going to leave also the link to his YouTube channel. Yeah. He have a very good content. So, also go and check him out. Yeah. And Thank don't you. forget to subscribe to my channel also. Yeah. And this is the first vlog for me and also we did plan it, but there are a lot more to come and they're gonna be fun. Yes, for sure. Yeah. I have to I have to visit um, Arusha and then we you take yeah, me around. Welcome to Arusha, man. Because I think that's my city right there. Yeah. yeah I have no, to come to see yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice man. So everybody, it's time for visual, I think. We're gonna do a little visual, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Right. So let's see. Pushing out the misery Trying to find the peace in me